why NCT Dream is the best NCT unit. Now, before you start firing shots, this is just my opinion, um, okay? I still love 127. I still love Wavy. Like, they're fantastic. They're amazing. But I just prefer NCT Dream. Now, the main reason is because I don't have to force myself to like their songs. Okay, that doesn't equate to the B-sides, but it equates to the title track. Sticker. I tried so hard to like that song. I was listening to it and I kind of like it now. Favorite or Vampire, uh, the, the exact same as Sticker. And Kick It, I absolutely love that because of listening to it too much. I had to force myself to listen to these songs a lot just to like them. When I first heard them, I was like, no, this is not my taste. Even though I love 127, it's it's just so annoying. I'm really hoping that for their next comeback, I don't have to force myself to like the song. I, I'm hoping it's just a straight up, hell yeah, this is awesome, I love it, fantastic. And that has not happened with Wavy, which is just phenomenal because I love their music a lot. I don't listen to them as much as 127 or Dream, but I really should because they have some great freaking songs. And yeah, of course, with NCT Dream, I can listen to all their title tracks first time and be like, this is phenomenal, this is amazing, I don't need to force myself to like the song, I can just already like it. But also, like I said before, the B-sides for Wavy, the B-sides for 127 are all fantastic, like top tier quality, like NCT's music is just phenomenal, except for like those three <laughs> title tracks, and it's been the previous title tracks for 127. Personally for me, it was just a bit too much. But yeah, NCT Dream, I, I just love them, just from their music, to the personalities, to everything. Oh, and also NCTU. Can't forget about NCTU. It's just, you know, another unit. All the songs from NCTU are phenomenal as well. But I found myself in the same situation with Universe. I love Universe now. Like, I love it so much. But, like, when I first heard it for the first few times, I was like, yo, this is too much. There's, like, too much happening at the start. But now I'm just sitting here like, fuck yeah, let's go, Universe. Oh, let's play ball. Let's play ball. Yeah, you're my Universe. Oh, yeah, man. And it's, it's such a good song. But yet again, this has not happened with NCTU. Dream and it probably might happen you never know if you don't like a song from a group like I might not like glitch mode I have no idea but I'm pretty sure that will not be the situation but you never know you seriously seriously never know but now it's time for the personalities they are in my age group and that is a massive boost for this I get their humor I get how they act around everyone it's just like exactly how I act around other people. Bit chaotic, but also, like, yes, meaningful. Meaningful? I don't know how to say it. Chaotic and polite. There we go. Like, yeah, I love watching 127 moments. I love watching wavy moments, but there's something about the dream moments that just feel like they are right there beside me. Like, I am their friends. I can just hang out with them, chill with them, have a great time. It is also like that with the other other units, but it's so much more like brotherhood-like with NCT Dream. I seriously think I could just get along with them no matter what, and it's just going to be a great, fantastic, awesome time. But also, I'm really curious about your guys' thoughts on the other groups. Like, is, is, is 127 your favourite? Is NCTU your favourite? Is WayV your favourite? Is NCT Dream your favourite? Comment down below who your favourite uh, unit is, and I want to actually read why, because, you know, it's always different, you know, of course it's going to be different for everybody. Like, the main reason for me is because it feels like we are friends. I don't know why. We, I've never talked to them. They don't even know who I am, but I feel like I'm friends with them, but with like 127 and Wavy, it's like I'm just watching idols. But there is something in the bond for NCT Dream, which is just like unbreakable, untouchable. They will never break apart. Like even though it hurt when Mark left them for like a year or two years, I don't know, no, a year. Like when Mark left them, because he graduated from NCT Dream, I felt an emptiness inside whenever I was watching the NCT Dream moments or music videos. But as soon as Mark came back, it just felt so whole and like just all the moments that we've had with them is fantastic. I really want to watch their new series, Chillin' in Youth. 
Because I remember the one that they did for Hot Sauce, when they were sitting down around the campfire, and they were just talking about, like, their favourite part of things of, the, like, the groups and all that stuff. It just felt so real. Like, it feels like they are a family. They can't be broken apart. Yes, they will have uh, fighting moments, you know. Hair churn in, Mark. But also at the same time, it feels like... It's a super genuine friendship, not just idols being together. There are groups where it's just like idols don't like each other, but they are part of the same group. There have been stories about that. But since NCT Dream has grown up together since they were like, what, 13, 15, you know, such a young age, they have actually grown up as best friends and you can see it you can see how the way they act like Chandler and Jisung's uh v live show i forgot what it's called god damn it but whenever i watch moments of that it feels like they are brothers and then Chandler wanted to invite Jisung over to his parents and introduce him to that like that is so wholesome we've seen that in 127 with um uh, Johnny inviting the members over to his family's house in Canada and that was nice and wholesome I loved that it made me feel like you know they are real close just a quick disclaimer I am not hating on the other NCT units I still love them they're, they are fantastic I love watching their moments okay just like I love it so much I love them so much it's just NCT dream feels like a super connection between all of them like when I see some 127 moments or wavy moments I'm like you know they're idols of course they're friends but like it just doesn't feel as I don't know bondy I don't I don't, I don't know how to explain it but this could also just be because I watch a lot more NCT Dream content, you know, I am more biased towards NCT Dream. But if I, if I watch a lot more 127 moments, which I'm planning on doing, if I do my In A Nutshell series, I'll first do it on all the NCT Dream members, then I'll do it on all the 127 members, and then all the Wavy members. Or maybe after a Dream, it's a combination of Wavy and 127, you know, I just go through the rest of the NCT members, because we have Shotaro and Sungchan and they're both not in 127 or wavy they're in part of nctu so actually what i will do is do my in a nutshell series if you guys actually want it on all the members after i've done all of dream who knows maybe after i do that entire series on all the the members maybe my opinion will change maybe i'll think 127 is my favorite maybe i'll think wavy is my favorite well actually it also also depends on the music like i mean if I, if there's another song from 127 where i have to force myself to like it then i'm gonna be sad because I love 127's music so much, like their B-side tracks are like so amazing. They have not missed on a single B-side track. It's just been the title tracks have not been it for me, Chief. Way V, all their B-sides are amazing. All their title tracks are amazing. Like I love listening to them, but I don't know their personalities that well, you know? So it definitely could be just the factor that I watch a lot more dream content and that could be why. I mean, it definitely could definitely majorly be the reason why I think they're the best unit. But from what I have seen and the reason why I don't want to leave NCT Dream content uh, or just I mean just watching their content during my own time is because their bond is so surreal their music is so fantastic to listen to their music videos are so great they're not serious they're not sexy it's just awesome fun to watch you you can see the enjoyment in them when they are doing the music videos when we see the behind cuts we see so much fun we just constantly just see fun from NCT Dream. I love them a lot. But yes, this is why NCT Dream, for me, is the best NCT unit. The personalities are unbreakable. The music is phenomenal. The music videos are fantastic. And I just can't get enough of just them. Here's hoping Glitch Mode is fantastic and it's not a song that I have to force myself to listen to but I feel like it won't because NCT Dream aren't as experimental in their music as 127 or Wavy. But yeah if like 127 went back to like Superhuman or like Cherry Bomb or something like that for the next comeback that would be amazing but if they have something where it's like way too much happening and my ears can't handle it then I'm uh, I will be a bit upsetty spaghetti but then the b-sides come out and I'm just like <laughs> but yeah uh that's all for this video uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this discussion i'll be happy to do more discussions in the future i got one on bts that i want to do and i also have one for female idols because i have a lot of respect for them 
Oi, track, you've done this to me last week and you're doing it to me again? I'm finishing off my video, mate, and you're doing this to me, eh? But yeah, that is all. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, show some support by leaving a like and comment down below uh, your favourite NCT unit and I'd love to hear an explanation as to why. And also, if you think I'm wrong on something, then please let me know. I would love to read it and I mean, if I would love to see why I am wrong on something and then I'll do research into it and into why I'm wrong. And yeah, that's it. Have a great day. Peace.